My name is Ryan. I'm one of the head brewers here at Roy Pitts Brewing Company. What we did today is we basically took our Imperial Stout. Uh, it's called Underground Safety Stout. Uh, we're ready to bring on the barrels from our uh, favorite local distillery, Mason Dixon. These guys show up with these amazing barrels that were just dumped freshly at their site, and they just uh, reek of uh, fresh, quality, high-level uh, bourbon. So we got together with uh, Ryan and the guys over at Roy Pitts to uh, collaborate a little bit. They brewed up this big, dark stout. We had recently dumped some bourbon barrels. They thought it'd be a good idea to fill our old bourbon barrels with their new beer. So we went up and uh, spent the day with them. Put beer into whiskey barrels, drank some whiskey, drank some beer. It was a day at work, but it didn't really feel like it, which is awesome. Um, it's almost like a kid on Christmas when they come in in the morning. Um, everybody's excited to uh, get this delicious stout onto a, uh, a wooden vessel. So what we do is uh, we came in here, we hooked right up to our racking arm here. We have our barrel set up in place. We know uh, the, the vessel's already sterile because it was freshly dumped with, with liquor. And we're also going on with a high ABV beer uh, to uh, counteract any micro activity in the barrel. Uh, we fill these up uh, on CO2, so we actually have a CO2 hose going in as well that's taking off any oxygen as the beer is filling the barrel from the bottom up. Uh, we do this, it's, it's a pretty slow process. It can take 30 to 40 minutes to fill uh, one large barrel. Um, once the, uh, the beer is uh, just starting to come out of the top of the bung, that's when we pull our uh, CO2 hose and our beer hose out and we uh, slam our bung in, hammer it in, and it's ready for rest. This one, I believe, was a uh, bourbon wheat for Mason Dixon. And uh, the other one over here is uh, one of their rums that they just released. So uh, just so cool to get to take an Imperial Stout, one product, divide it into two separate unique wooden vessels, and then transform it into like two complete different products. You can't get much more uh, exciting than that. And just the experimental process alone is so cool. Um, and we're just excited for it. So, what will happen is these, this Imperial Stout will then rest in these uh, spirited barrels uh, for up to three months. Uh, we'll, we'll test them uh, and during that process we'll be able to figure out, hey, is this the finished blended product that we are looking for? Does it need more time uh, to, get, to gather that oakiness, to gather some of the boozy notes that we're looking for in that finished Imperial Stout? So a lot of that comes down to the brewer's taste buds at that point, which I love the best. We'll actually push uh, the beer back out of these barrels into a, a stainless conditioning tank again, force carbonate the beer, and, and then finally package it into kegs or 22 ounce bomber bottles. Just wanted to sum this all up by saying thank you to Ryan at Roy Pitts and his staff. They were amazing hosts. Uh, we all had a great time when we were there. If you're not out tonight seeing us, you should be out tonight seeing them. Um, Till next time guys, cheers. Consumers, be on the lookout in the next couple months. You're going to see some uh, tasty, delicious Imperial Stout from none other than Roy Pitts and Mason Dixon. Catch you soon.